being stalked by something in the woods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the pond that's on our farm. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're down here in the really beautiful blue, gorgeous, gorgeous pond. <laughs> no. Just a lovely environment. All right, let me let me flip the camera, and then we're going to describe what's going on today. All right, so here's our pond. Our pond has a couple of issues that we're trying to resolve. The first issue is this pond drops levels significantly. Mm -hmm. We think we know why, but we're not sure. There is a pipe right there. You can't see it because it's about this deep right now. And then what happens is the pipe comes out and it goes down that direction. So we're going to have, I want to get my waders on and I'm going to get out here and see if I can figure out where that pipe is going and what is it doing. I think it's an overflow pipe, very, very small overflow pipe because this, this pond doesn't need a large one. And I think it has turned. I think it needs to be up this way. And right now it's pointing down that way. And I think that's a significant reason why the pond's losing a lot of water. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the second thing we're trying to do today is you see all these leaves on the bank all the deadness all the deadness this pond gets a lot of leaves because it's surrounded by trees so april today is going to cut down all these trees right here yep, by myself <laughs> no. all by myself all by yourself no we're gonna we're gonna trim some of these trees off this dam we don't know when. It'll probably be over time. I might get down here today and dork around with it some. Because all we got up up at the house to cut down is big trees. So maybe we can cut some small trees today since we got a limited amount of time today. But first is looking at this. Second is all these leaves and debris that are building up due to all these trees that are around the pond builds up what they call muck in the bottom of a pond. And this pond... Yes. It's called ick. This pond is full of ick, ickies. So what we want to try to do is try to increase the quality. To increase the quality of the pond. Right. The pond is a nice pond. It's a nice size pond. But two problems. One, it keeps running out of water. Two, it is nasty looking. It's nasty smelling sometimes. April don't like to put her feet in it. Uh, well, you're not gonna. Well, I don't. I always was like, oh, I'll swim in it. Not this. This is. <laughs> this needs some work. So, we have three products we're putting in today. We're putting muck, muck off, something like that. Muck, muck away. Muck away. There's another one that's a pond cleanser. Supposedly, this muck away cleans it from the bottom up. This other cleanser cleans it from the top down. And then a third thing is uh, some blue dye that's going Pretty. to. It'll make it at least look pretty, but make it I'm, light water. I'm really looking to get rid of the muck. The the oh, dye is just from Dad because Dad kept talking about pond dyeing it blue. So I'm trying gonna, to suffice the old man. I'm gonna dye it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll probably make it look better. It still, ain't gonna make you want to get in it just because it's dyed blue. Just because it's blue, don't mean I want to swim in it. Just because you spray some Febreze on it doesn't mean it's clean. Right. <laughs> might smell better, might look better, but it ain't clean. No. <laughs> So we're going to do those things. Right now, I'm trying to get the drone working. Every time I use the drone, it doesn't work. It's to uninstall and reinstall the app every single time. I don't understand. Anyway, so... Technology is such a great thing. It is, but sometimes it's frustrating. Um, but after that, we're going to uh, get the drone, get some drone shots yes. before we do it. Then we're going to put all the ingredients in. I'm going to dork around with this pole for a minute to see if I can figure out where this pipe is. Right I will not there. be participating in that part. There, wherever that is on the camera. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to see if we can figure out where that pole's going, that pipe's going. Uh, I think we're still going to lose water this season. Some more probably before we get more rain. Got a little rain yesterday. Um, but this pond will fill up in the winter slash springtime i think springs when it really fills up yeah. but if that pipe is just running water out and i've got to find the other side all those april showers that yeah. i produce mm -hmm. but if if we can get the water to stop dropping 
it'd be really really nice but we got to get these trees off here too because if we fix the water problem if that is the water problem and we fix it then all these trees are going to be in the water we'll never be able to cut them down unless we manually pump it dry yeah. but anyway might have to be another day for another video might have to do that eventually because, well we know. do have other plans that april says not for this video so no, man. <laughs> I told you we'd be installed. No, that was something. It's probably a tree falling. Yeah, we have too many trees. We're rambling. You know that whole um, uh, if a tree if falls, a tree falls in the wood, no one's around, doesn't make a noise or whatever. Yeah. We always know there's noises because we always have trees falling. It's always going to be a noise. Branches. That's, that's about the dumbest question possible that you ask. No. Way. Oh, what is anyway? All right, so, are we ready? So, well, oh, another thing. We tried to run, I got a camera that has a, an extension. You can see it up against the woods. Put it up right. in front of me so you can see it. Yeah. See, it's got a light on it and everything. And you can, you can run this light down in places where you can't reach. But the problem, <laughs> don't point it at my ears. People don't want to see that. Thankfully, y'all <laughs> can't see that on the screen. But the, hey. turn it off. Already on. I'm trying to turn it off. So anyway, we tried to run that, but it, it, it doesn't work because it's too muddy. Too muddy. Looks like it's snowing uh, on the screen. So I, and I had brought our not so GoPro. We did get a GoPro, by the way. Uh, but this is our not. Using it. This is our not so GoPro. The not so Go. Uh, but I was gonna put it in the water and see what kind of picture, what kind of video we can get from it, and I still might just to see. Um, but it's mucky. We'll do it. We'll, I'll put it down in the water and let you see. But you can't see anything. So maybe we can get some footage on the not so GoPro. Ooh, uh, that would do better than that. I don't and know. Then... We're about to find out. Okay. Hey. And then we'll put them side by side. We'll put the muck away stuff in. Give it a four weeks. And then we'll put it back in there. We need to get to work. Let's go. I need to go check on the drone and see if it's downloaded that. Let's do it. All right, pond dye has been inserted. We're still trying to distribute it. Now it's time for the muck away. It comes in little tablets. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be touching it with my skin or not. Probably not. But I'm flicking. You already touched the dye, it's all good. Right. I'm just flicking the tablets everywhere, hoping fish don't eat them. But if they do, it is what it is. But we're flucking, flucking, flicking, <laughs> fl fl flucking. We're flicking <laughs> the muck away tablets along the edge. This is the product. Hey, you need to be driving. I'm driving. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, she's driving. I'm driving. She's driving all over the place. <laughs> all right, so we just roaming around, roaming around, throwing this out. And then, when we're done with that, we're going to put two packs of this in. We bought all this stuff. Our channel's a loser channel. It only has like 10 people watching it. There so are we no don't really, sponsors there, to this channel. We don't Unless get sponsored. Muckaway and Pond Clear want to call us. For real. <laughs> now, this, we should have put gloves on. But thankfully, that's all the blue dye I got on me. But this stuff is potent. You do not want to mess around with it. 
So that's the dial we put in. But I may end up getting hey, a flick tablets. We're missing opportunities. Well, well you don't worry. You, you can, need to be flicking while look, I'm driving. You can drive me back. Around. I don't want to drive more than 19 times. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, well, we got 18 more times. Well, let's go. We've okay. Been four. Listen, you're distracting me. Put that, put it, put gloves on when you're using the die. And the I knew tablets. that. I knew that. Well, and probably the tablets. <laughs> Bye. So, we have distributed the muck off, muck off the little tablets. We distributed stew, stew, yeah. two packets of the other stuff. I don't know, pond clear. And now we're trying to paddle around and distribute the dye, but my butt cheeks are on fire. <laughs> like, like, literally, can't take it. You would think a paddle boat isn't that bad. Wouldn't be that much of a workout. Bobby's literally out of breath. <laughs> He's like Look, over <laughs> this, is how, this is how I'm rolling right now. <laughs> April's doing the paddling. <laughs> Oh. His butt cheeks are cramping so bad he can't hold his feet up. And then he's when we stop, he's like, <sighs> I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating as well, but I don't know that it. I mean, obviously we're moving, sweat. but I'm not out of breath. That's because I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in. Sounds like somebody else needs to put in some yeah, more effort. Sir, you're resting your butt so, cheeks. Somebody needs to put in a little no, more man, effort. You're resting your butt cheeks. We're gonna paddle around for a few it's more minutes. I do more walking than he does. No. Nah. He sits on his butt all day, all week. We're gonna do some more paddling. Then we're gonna go grab some lunch. And I think we're gonna get down here and cut some trees. We'll see. Things change. If his butt cheeks ain't burning too bad. <laughs> Let me give you some shots of this. I mean, it's looking neater already. But it's still kind of. As long as it distributes evenly, it'll look great. It's just right now it doesn't even. But that's like I never noticed how many uh, pine, needles. pine needles was on top of the water, but boy, once it went from brown to blue, you could really tell it now. <clears throat> I told April this kind of reminds me of that water you see at like theme parks and stuff, like Dollywood and stuff like that. I wonder if they dye their water. I'm pretty sure they do. It's deep. Oh, we'll go hit it. But there you go. Bet you there's some bass in those sweets. <laughs> Doubt it. There, there is one bass in here if he hasn't died. One or two. One or two. If he hasn't babies. died. No, there's a big one. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Put a big one in here. Okay. Well, we're going to make a couple more laps. Go grab some lunch. Maybe cut down these trees. Burn up some calories. Yeah. I hope that muck off and the pond clear gives us a little bit more clarity in this pond. Yeah. But being a runoff pond full of just runoff mud, sediment and stuff, I don't know if that's gonna, I don't know if that's gonna do it or not. I don't know if uh, many people do this, but I'm starting to learn that you can cook a lot more things on the grill than just burgers. I'm doing some roasted potatoes and with my smoker box, and then once this is done, I'll come out and smoke the steaks. And I really, really like doing roasted potatoes on the grill. So don't you can use your grills for other things than burgers. So here's an update on the pond. We have cleared a good bit of little small trees right here. I was finishing up this stump, but the battery on the chainsaw died. <laughs> Problem with battery powered tools. They die on you, you're done until the battery recharges. So all of that has been cleared out except the big trees. And I cleared off this bank right here with a bunch of small trees. Here's what the pond looks like. Oh, scared frog. Hope I don't fall. See if we can scare some more frogs around here. 
Lots of little frogs. I can't really tell if the pond is getting any clearer. Maybe. Maybe. But definitely looks a lot better. Um, yeah. Definitely looks a lot better. Doesn't look as nasty. So, no real update on whether or not it's getting any clearer. I think it is, though, because previously we could only see about that far in. Being able to actually see about that far in, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a lot more than I'm used to seeing. Really hard to tell with the glare. See? You can see pretty, pretty far in. I wish I would have done a before shot of that. But that's that's a lot further out than I'm used to being able to see. Pond dye definitely worked. Definitely makes the pond look a lot nicer. Um, but I'm really interested in getting the pond clear, not just green. <laughs> it's supposed to be blue, but I guess the blue and the brown, and after it distributed, kind of looks green now. <laughs> 